There's a device that I've been using called a Whoop. Hello, and welcome back to iGao, international game of Whoop. We are on week number 30, and this week the trick is called Verum FPV's Crazy Indoor Combos. This week, the tinywoop.com weekly sponsored prize is a cube gate. So the winner of best video will get a cube gate, which is a super fun and versatile obstacle that you can use on any whoop track. All right, so now let's jump into the requirements to avoid a letter for week number 30's trick, Verum FPV's crazy indoor combos. Requirement number one is that you complete both of Verum FPV's crazy indoor combos that I'm about to explain indoors with a ceiling height of max 10 feet. So you must do both combos and complete them without any cuts or edits individually. And uh, you can't have any bumps or ground taps or crashes in between the required tricks of each combo. Requirement number two is that you complete the ceiling tap combo. And that combo is gonna consist of two tricks. One is the snapback from week number eight. You can do a front snapback or a back snapback. It doesn't matter. And then the other trick is a ceiling tap, which is just like a wall tap, except it's going to be on the ceiling. So you have to boost up with some throttle. And then before you hit the ceiling, you need to flip or roll to inverted and then contact the ceiling with the base of your drone and then <clears throat> flip back over and catch yourself and be able to fly away. Uh, before you hit the ground or bump into anything. And finally, requirement number three is that you complete an indoor Rubik's Cube combo. So this combo is going to consist of three tricks and one finish. The first trick is a snapback, and you're going to have to do the opposite snapback that you did in the ceiling tap combo. So if you did a back snapback there, you now need to do a front snapback in this combo, or vice versa. Um, trick number two is a Rubik's Cube um, or a Cubics Rube. You can do either one. And then trick number three is a self power loop. So you have to do those three tricks in any order. And then to complete the combo, you have to land on yourself while standing up. So you must be standing when you complete this part of the trick. So if you were sitting before, you have to then stand up. And then you must land on yourself in some way. You can land on your head, or you could stick your hand out if you're able to still fly like that and land on your hand. Or if you hold your controller like up against your body, you could uh, catch it and kind of land on your controller and in your hands. But some way you must uh, land, disarm, and catch yourself while you are standing up. Um, you can get creative if you want and do it some other way, but you must be standing and land on yourself to complete the combo. All right, guys, if this one's super hard and you're breaking stuff trying to get it done, remember, don't blame me, blame Jared, because this trick was mostly his idea. <laughs> anyway, have fun with it, and happy whooping.